Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Learn now from your learning partner. Today, we're going to learn how to create new measure function in Power BI from scratch, using DAX function, so please watch the complete video so that you don't miss out on your learning. In the previous video, we learned how to use quick measure function in Power BI. If you have not watched that video, then click on the above link. If you're new to Power BI, don't worry, we have created a complete watch list that will guide you step by step, where we explain everything you need to know. Measures are a powerful feature in Power BI that enable you to perform complex calculations and gain insights from your data. In this video, we'll take a comprehensive look at how to create new measures in Power BI DAX. Let's create a measure from scratch to calculate the average sales per product category for the orders table. So we're gonna just right-click on orders again in the field. This time we're gonna do a new measure instead of a new quick measure. And it just brings up the formula bar. So we're gonna name this measure average sales per product category. Remember, whatever is before the equal sign is the name of the item. So average sales per product category and navigate to after the equal sign. So we can use the functions that we're going to use. We're going to start with the calculate function. So start typing it in. And by the way, when it's highlighted on the list to the right of the highlight, it tells you what the function does. So this evaluates an expression in a context modified by filters. So we're going to go ahead and tab and calculate. The first argument is expression. We want to calculate the average order sales field. So for the expression argument, we're going to use the average function, start typing average. And when you see it, you're going to go ahead and tab it in just plain average. And we want the average of the sales field in the orders table. So we're going to start typing orders and we're going to just do my down arrow until the order sales field is selected and we're going to tab it in. Now we want to get back to the calculate function at this point. So after order sales, we're going to go ahead and type a closing parent. And it takes us back to calculate. We are still in its expression argument. And now we want to advance to the filter argument, which is optional. So we're going to type a comma, and it takes us to that filter1 argument. For the filter1 argument, we're going to use another function, the all selected function. So we're going to start typing all, when I see it on the list, we're going to highlight it. So it tells you that all selected returns, all the rows in the table, or all the values in the column, ignoring any filters that might have been implied inside the query, but keeping filters that come from outside. We'll go ahead and tab in all selected, and we're going to go to the orders table. So start typing orders. And we want the product category field this time from the orders table, and we're going to get that in. We're going to need to type two closing parentheses at the end of this and press enter. So when you do that, it sets up the measure for you. It shows pain in your field, and again, it will only show on a reporting visualization as it is not part of your data set. Finally, you've created your new measure, you can share it with others by publishing your report to the Power BI service. This will allow others to access your measure and use it in their own reports. Measures are a powerful feature in Power BI DAX that allow you to perform complex calculations and analysis on your data. That's for this video. In the next video, we will see how to create time intelligence functions in Power BI, so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Power BI tutorials and tips. Thank you for watching.